Hi everyone, today I am going to demonstrate no rate limiting attack. So to my right side you can see my iOS emulated device with Paytm installed and the messaging app. So let's choose a website which consists of an Razer Pay payment method and Paytm. So configure the Bob suit with the browser. So I already did that. So let me quickly show you the attack. Click on buy now and click on name as Surya and let me enter my email ID. So this is my register email ID. So let me enter a random address and let me enter a random pin code. Okay. Here let me enter a random phone number. As of now I let me enter my original phone number and the date. Okay. Let me click on submit. So now it's, it's going to redirect me to Razor Pay as they are using third party gateway for this website. Okay, let's wait. So now it's asking me for the payment of rupees 15.99. Okay. Okay. Let me quickly intercept the request. Okay, not this request. Okay, not one. So let me pop the request. Just a minute. Okay, the next screen is vulnerable for no rate limiting. Okay, let's wait. The page still is loading. So let's wait for it. Okay, let me quickly refresh it. Okay, 15.99. So here we need to choose payment as UPI. Okay. So let me quickly enter my UPI. Double eight zero one seven one zero zero eight nine zero. Okay. Capture the request. So I am demonstrating on Paytm.com. So this is my UPI wallet address of Paytm. Let me quickly trigger the request. So you got the request triggered. So is this request is this request is verifying whether the user is present or not. If it is present, it's going to show you the full name of the user. And obviously this is my phone number. Okay. Let me quickly send it to the intruder. And quickly brute force the last three digits. Click on add payloads. Go to the number session and Give it from 100 to 999 and 1 and click on start attack. So now what I am doing here is I am just brute forcing the phone numbers. So now it will show you what all the phone numbers consist of Paytm UPI. The same way we can enumerate anything, any UPI like ICIC UPI as well as Kotak UPI, whatever it might be, Google Pay UPI. Okay. So let's wait. This is my initial request. So in the response, you can see my name, Surya Krishna, right? Okay, let's eagerly wait for few more people information. Okay. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. So here I'm able to enumerate a different user which has a UPA. So her name is sorry, Lali Imam. So something else. Okay. So let's see here. It's someone Khan using this UPA payment method. Okay. And obviously this is my payment method. So we'll wait. So let me wait for a few more users to show more impact. So this is how we can enumerate users. So is Bargao using this UPA payment method and I got one more person. Okay. Nazar. So he got Paytm UPA payment method. 
So likewise, there is no right limiting has been implemented at the API end. So by this, I'm able to perform no rate limited attack and able to enumerate users. Okay, so this is one attack. We have one more attack here. Let me show you that. So here we are calling an Ajax method. Okay, click it to the repeater. Sorry, send it to the intruder section and go to the position tab and clear everything and set the payload to null. Okay, let me keep give thousand. Okay, so for this, I'm going to show you my screen, my device screen before starting the attack. The real impact. So I just started the attack. So let me show you the what the previous attack is, which I have done. So it's requesting the payment from bound share. So see here, see here. Okay. Let me cancel that request. See here, I'm getting notified. So with one click, I can send the payment to the this thing, right? Okay. Let me show you the actual requests. So these are all the previous request. So it needs to trigger our 1500 rupees. So this still is showing the previous request there. I have just tested it. So you can see here, right? The 1500 is coming. 1500 has been requested from you up now, right? So it's keep on bugging me, keep on bugging me, keep on bugging me. If you see here, the request is 182. It went for 360 as I'm performing intruder attack. So not only this, I also receive, keep on receiving the SMS from the Paytm. Okay, so let's wait for few new messages. Still, I'm getting the previous messages of 23,099. Okay, so it still needs to be triggered. So still many uh, SMS are pending from, <laughs> from Paytm. So this is no rate limiting. I have identified. Okay, so what can I perform? So I can perform like instead of bound share, I can host my own website and I can send requests to multiple user. As this is a testing which I am performing on my own phone number, instead of this, I can brute force to different phone numbers where I have enumerated users here, right? So here I have users, enumerated few users who have UPI payment. Okay, Rita Das. Okay, kind like uh, likewise. So here I am able to enumerate the users, UPI users. So I can request the amount, like I can use this number in this request where I'm able to get the trigger the Paytm request. So let me show you again. So whenever, whenever, whenever I open the Paytm, the request is getting triggered. So it's going to irritate the user. Okay. So here the attacker can perform the cyber crime behalf of the organization. Here attacker won't get the money. Attacker can perform the attack using that organization because you know upner id is using your or game and method instead of my number i can use different numbers right so the different different users get triggered this 1500 rupees if when they click on this 1599 they will the amount will get transferred to them right yes obviously it is going to the process okay so let me quickly close it so i'm also receiving a number of sms okay so let me show you. So I have received more than 1000 SMS from the Paytm requesting from the Apna ride. So from where I did it triggered from that I triggered from the API Razor Pay and Razor Pay is vulnerable for no rate limiting attack as well as the Paytm is also vulnerable for the no rate limiting attack where I am able to trigger the request multiple requests in the Paytm application. So see here, I have opened again the payment. Whenever I open the Paytm, I will just see this request because I'm just triggering that, right? So continuously you keep on getting notified for this with this request. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you so much.